Trump campaigns harder to counter Harris's rise. Donald Trump's frenetic social media play-by-play -play during Kamala Harris's rousing speech to Democrats Thursday showed his concern over her momentum but also signaled a new phase of his campaign, with a busier schedule in battleground states and increased outreach to younger men and other crucial voters. Trump held events in five states over five days while Harris galvanized delegates at the Democratic National Convention in Chicago this week. He held multiple interviews and stayed on message to contrast Harris on the economy, crime, and immigration, with mixed results. His campaign has a hard agenda for the coming week and claims it will keep the pace to regain footing in a drastically different contest after Harris's Democratic Party takeover. Kamala's biography won't cut grocery store or pump prices. Trump tweeted during the vice president's speech, one of numerous rapid-fire rebuttals Thursday night. She promised to chart a new way forward, but she has done nothing but harm in three and a half years. After a slow start under President Biden, Trump advisors predict he will be more engaged on the campaign trail. Trump will speak at a Detroit National Guard convention on Monday. He planned engagements Thursday in Michigan and Wisconsin and a rally Friday in Pennsylvania. More events are smaller, saving money, and designed to keep Trump focused on a topic. He has traditionally enjoyed massive, adoring rallies, but his aides think they do nothing to advance the cause and give him an edge with undecided and independent voters in November. Trump also added 2016 campaign manager Corey Lewandowski to his campaign staff. People familiar with the move believe Lewandowski will make many television appearances to provide Trump another perspective. He is famous enough to draw crowds to events. Taylor Butowich, a Trump insider who joined the campaign after founding MAGA Incorporated, is less well-known but nevertheless important. People close to Trump think the young Butowich has a good chemistry with him and can advise him, which could help him stay on message. Trump, who has struggled to approach Harris since Biden left the race a month ago, got a lift Friday when independent Robert F. Kennedy Jr. dropped his bid and endorsed Trump. Pollsters think Trump will pick up largely dissatisfied Kennedy Republicans, as Biden disillusioned Democrats have shifted to Harris. Kennedy joined Trump on stage at his Phoenix suburb rally Friday to Foo Fighters My Hero in stage pyrotechnics, drawing a shout from the crowd. Trump said that Kennedy ran an extraordinary campaign and was often targeted. He promised followers to fight together for the nation. I think he'll significantly impact this campaign. Actually far bigger than you'll see in the polls, Trump told rallygoers. All who backed Bobby's campaign I simply urge you to help us create this coalition. Trump announced his plan to eliminate federal income tax on tips in Las Vegas earlier in the day, which could appeal to casino workers in battleground Nevada. Trump is annoyed that Harris has adopted the notion. She's a copycat, he stated Friday, Harris, meanwhile, just returned from a Chicago convention that appealed to the Democratic mainstream with patriotic flag-waving, USA, chants, and promises to toughen the border and strengthen the military. According to his recent ex-interview with Elon Musk and his podcast interview with comedian Theo Vaughn, the Trump campaign is emphasizing non-traditional voter engagement by the former president, his running mate J.D. Vance, and campaign surrogates. Campaign insiders stated this is to attract undecided voters, mostly younger men who use alternative news and entertainment sources. Trump allies and influencers began a $20 million voter registration and mobilization campaign last month. The campaign wants surrogates on black podcasts like Earn Your Leisure, Market Mondays, and others that target men. The campaign expects Trump to hold additional meet and greets and smaller events to target Harris's border and economy vulnerabilities. President Trump stood a few feet from the border wall in Cochise County, Arizona, on Thursday and alleged Biden and Harris wasted government money by wasting border wall construction materials. He asked relatives of Americans killed by unauthorized immigration to give heartbreaking testimonies of the dangers the country faces if Harris is elected. This week, a Trump super PAC ran immigration ads in Michigan, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin. Trump and his allies frustrate Harris's enthusiasm and momentum but expect it to slow off. Polls predict a close race. 538.com averages public polls show Harris leading Trump by 3.7%. 
the majority of her poll leads are within the margin of error, and she trails in numerous battleground state polls. Trump's campaign is portraying Harris as too liberal for the country and a political lightweight due to her lack of policy details. According to top surrogate Vivek Ramaswamy, who ran against Trump in the GOP primary, this is being determined right now on vibes. I think by November, many voters will expect substance we haven't seen yet. The once disciplined campaign has suffered setbacks in recent weeks as Trump openly voiced his anger with Harris's swift climb, challenging her racial identity and intelligence, but his advisors seem to have worked to make Trump to see the possible perils of his outbursts. Trump complained at a national security event in North Carolina this week that Barack and Michelle Obama had been very nasty to him in their Democratic convention remarks and asked the audience whether he should employ personal attacks. People overwhelmingly said he should. Trump laughed at firing his advisors. Would rather keep it on policy. Attack from all sides might be difficult.